Hey, 1K, what's up? Maybe they're for powering up the megastructure? Or maybe they just open it, like keys. Why? No idea. But aren't they gorgeous? Just incredible feats of engineering? I don't know who built this place, but whoever they were, they must have had a purpose. Making something so beautiful feels like a statement of intent. represent each of the entities. Pandora, the Sphinx, and Prometheus. Makes sense, I guess. For a given value of sense. I think you just picked up some kind of decryption key. Could try using it on those terminals inside the puzzles. Structures are not strictly functional. There's a sense of aesthetics, of beauty here. This place might be meant to test us somehow, but perhaps there's more to it than that. So, what are you doing here, Trevor? Why are you trying to save the world? Well, look, I think humanity is awesome. I love humanity. As a species, we're great. I mean, our track record is pretty mixed, but have you seen everyone else? 
I mean, what did you do today, animal? Oh, I ate some leaves, sniffed my own butt, crapped myself, and went extinct. Or, you know, I tore this other animal limb from limb, sniffed my friend's butt, crapped myself, and went extinct. They really don't do anything interesting. I mean, you don't see animals directing big trouble in Little China. Birds can go, tweet, tweet, but it ain't exactly the White Album. I mean, they can't even make a good cheeseburger, for Christ's sakes. They have no art, no cuisine, no pleasure. Animals are nice to look at, but you wouldn't want to be one. Except maybe a cat. I could be a cat. Is it just their symbolic value because of our history? Because the thing about puzzles is they can be solved. But if this is about testing us, what are we being tested for? It can't just be about spatial reasoning. Our curiosity? Our persistence? You're assuming that this place follows a coherent logic. My impression is that it's full of contradictions.
Hey there, one K. I don't know what she is, ontologically speaking, but those questions she asked reinforce my belief that we're being tested, or perhaps analyzed. about these puzzles, they're not replicas of the simulation puzzles, like the ones in the museum. Wasn't there an artist who did an exhibition a few years ago that involved new puzzles of some kind? That was Barzai. It was called Trials of an Imagined Past. I tried to get you to come along. You thought it would be boring. Were they similar? No, not at all. Was it boring? I thought it was interesting. standing on a hill silhouetted against the setting sun. It appeared like a messenger from some divine natural power, perhaps from Gaia herself. Even to a being such as myself, less susceptible to manipulation by instincts and hormones, it was clearly a moment of revelation. In such moments, we are told to avert our eyes. But what if we do not? 
What will we discover if we look more closely? If we could speak to the stag, what wisdom would it have to offer? The answer is none. The stag is an animal of overwhelming stupidity, driven only by fear, hunger, and lust. There is no abyss for us to plunge into behind this revelation. Rather, the revelation is as flat and unreal as the plywood walls of a film set. clouds, Melville. It's pretty clear they're integral to how all of this functions. I've gathered a lot of data, but I still have a lot of numbers to crunch before I can give you an answer. And I can't guarantee that my answer won't be another question. I'm glad we don't get here, Dave. 